Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Today we are still trying to find the elusive rattle or noise under light throttle on Dale the truck. So stay tuned. So let's get you up to speed on what we've done so far on Project Dale. So we started off with when we were driving down the highway and we were letting off the gas to slow down or just to kind of maintain speed. We were noticing a little bit of a light rattling noise under very, very light acceleration. Uh, you step on the gas a little bit and it would go away or you step off the gas completely, it would also go away. It's progressively been getting worse and we don't really know what it is. So. What we did back in this video here is we went and we removed all the belts off of the vehicle for the power steering and for the AC. Took it for a drive, the noise was still there. Then we said, well, let's take the pulley or let's take the belt off the alternator. So we did that and well, we found a noisy alternator. Thought, hmm, that's got to be it. So we've got a brand new alternator on it and yet the noise is still there. So during that video I had mentioned that it could possibly be the fan clutch because it was quite loose. You guys made lots of comments saying yeah that's got to be it because it shouldn't be that uh, there shouldn't be that much play in it. So we put a new fan clutch on it. Good and tight there now yet the noise is still with us. And while I had the fan clutch off I thought now is the time to check the water pump because I believe it was Eford Garage Terry said uh, check the water pump because it could possibly be a bad bearing in the water pump and everything seemed to feel good and sound okay when I just kind of give it a little wiggle by hand and uh, even though that was a brand new water pump when we built the motor less than 3,000 miles ago so by now I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated and I reach out to my old man I said take that thing for a drive I explained how to get it to do it and tell me what you think is going on. Well, he came back and said, I think it's driveline. So up in the air, the truck went. And we found that the carrier bearing, which I knew was getting there, uh, had pulled away from itself. So the rubber had broke and we thought for sure that this had to be it. So we replaced the carrier bearing, took it for a drive and the noise is still there. So that brings us up to where we are right now. And at this point, the only other thing that I can think of that it could be is possibly one of two things. Now one might be the actual pinion bearing in the differential is going bad. And that when it's not under load, those bearings are just kind of free floating in there and giving us a noise. And the only way to figure that out for sure is to get the drive shaft out and get the slip yoke off and see if we can check the bearing inside there. Having said that too, I have never checked the differential fluid in this pumpkin. So that is one thing we're going to do tonight is we're going to pull the plug, we're going to stick something in there and see if there's fluid in there. And I'm sure there is because if it hasn't, in the 3,000 miles I've been driving this truck, chances are it would have given us a lot more problems before now. So let's get that done and we'll see what the fluid looks like in there. So we've got the plug out and you can see where I sprayed some WD-40 around that to get that broke free and there's actually some differential fluid kind of seeping out. That tells me that the level is right where it's supposed to be and I'm going to take this white zip tie and just kind of stick it in there and confirm that yes indeed there is some fluid in there. And what does it smell like you might ask? Well, probably one of the worst things you'll ever smell on a vehicle is differential fluid. All right, so we've got the drive shaft out of the way here and just by turning it by hand here, I can't really feel uh, much in there as far as any growling noise. Uh, I can't seem to make it move up and down. There doesn't seem to be any end play like this or like this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin the wheels up by hand by giving the tires a big wheel of fortune spin over here. And then with my stethoscope, I'm gonna see if there's any growling noise coming from the pumpkin. So let's get that started. Oh, 
I don't hear anything there, at least not with the uh, speed that I had it at. But, again, without taking that lock nut off and beating that thing off there, we're not going to know for sure. But I'm pretty convinced that it's not the differential. So uh, let's keep looking. So you guys all know what happens when a universal joint cap falls off. The needle bearings fall out. Guess we're going hunting for some needle bearings. Well it looks to me like there's enough room for one more bearing in there, one more needle bearing. So I guess I got to go over to the floor again to see what I can find. And we found it. Now if you're fortunate enough to be as stupid as I was, well, careless I should say, uh, and drop one of these things and miss out on some needle bearings, well, you're probably just as far ahead to replace the U-joint. Uh, all it takes is one and you can really screw that thing up but remember if you do get them all in there and you put the cap back on once you get everything installed make sure you grease it back up again so if you remember before we started talking about the differential I said it's a possibility of two things one the pinion bearing being one of them the second one is potentially the lockup torque converter there could be something failing inside there causing a noise and uh, that's going to be something that we'll end up having to deal with probably once it's catastrophic. It does make quite a noise. And I can just imagine from outside the truck just exactly what that sounds like. But for now, we did check off a couple more things on the list. And, well, I think we're just going to have to drive it. And if the problem gets worse, well, hopefully it'll make it a little bit easier to diagnose. So at this point guys, I am definitely interested in your input to see if you have run into this before. Obviously you can't get a good sound of what it is I'm listening for, but I mean, you had to have run into this at some point guys. This truck's 43 years old. You know that we've replaced the alternator. We've replaced the fan clutch. The AC, the water pump, and the power steering all seem good. We've replaced the steady bearing check the u-joints we've checked the differential for bearing noise I don't know it could still be that differential you'd have to spin it up I guess with the vehicle running but I don't know I'm gonna see how long I can live with it and or how long it lasts and we will go from there I'm sure but whenever it fails I'll be sure to update you on the uh, progress and where it left me stranded and as I always say, there's always a bright side to everything. Look at all these problems that we're finding that could have left us on the side of the road somewhere down south on my trip to Atlanta, should that have happened. So, like I said, there's always a bright side to everything. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you really uh, enjoyed me trying to diagnose what's going on with this truck. Other than that, everything else seems to be working great. Um, we've got a few things in the works coming up on the channel for the old Mopar as well as old grandma. So hope you stick around for that. Car Guy and Six Fan Show is still happening every Thursday evening at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, 9 local time. And it's myself and Grant Tommy who is straight Six Fan. Just a couple of car guys talking cars and we do have guests on the show. Uh, we've had such uh, notable guests as Junkyard Diggs and Dylan McCool and George from Nick's Garage. Uh, we've got plenty more of where that came from, so I hope you guys can tune in on Thursday evenings. We alternate each week between my channel and Grant's. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.